What is up guys? My name is Mark Samaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. It's kind of weird. I don't I don't know what to do with my hands. Anyways, today guys, I am going to start building a new kit. So I'm going to build my EB410. And I know what you guys are thinking. There's a new one out. There's a 410.2. Yeah, I know there's a new one out. There's a 410.2, but I ordered this one a long time ago and I never started building it. And uh, that's a big no-no. You should just build your cars and run them instead of me like, like hoard them. So instead of buying the EB410.2, which would have been the easy route, I decided that I'm going to convert mine. So I have here what I believe are all the parts that we need to convert the EB410 to an EB410.2. So if you guys are out there that actually have an EB410, then this will be a good video because you'll figure out how to convert them or a good series, convert it to a 410.2. If you don't know what an EB410.2 is, it is the four wheel drive 10 scale off-road buggy by Techno. So if you haven't caught on, it's electric buggy, four wheel drive, 10 scale. So gonna build this thing out. Really excited about it. My initial thoughts, just looking at all the parts, um, the shock towers, they got new shock towers. Let's see, I actually, I have these kind of broken out by section because this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a weird build. Um, this is gonna be a build. I think I'm gonna build it off the EB410.2 manual, um, but I don't know how that's gonna work. It's gonna be weird because I'm gonna be adding new parts as I go along. But again, initially, when I got this stack of parts or whenever I started looking at the stack of parts, the first thing I noticed were the shock towers are different. The reason why it kind of bothers me is because I had all the cool shock towers already. I think I have, let's, let's see. I have all the hop-ups that I was gonna put on this thing in here. Yeah, see, so I had the, I think I can still use this. This is the the carbon fiber top plate, carbon fiber battery bar, I should be able to still use that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use these. The carbon fiber shock towers, I don't know how different they are. They're way different, actually. Actually, let's see. Well, they don't look that much different. Uh, anyways, that's what this video is for, is for us to find out. So, the other thing I noticed are, or is, the other thing I noticed is, the things I noticed are, see, that's why I do these videos, so I can see how grammatically incorrect I am. I've got all new front arms here, or arms. So, it looks like all the suspension arms are different. The wing mount is gonna be different, which this wing mount looks pretty freaking heavy duty and cool. Uh, all the hinge pins and braces are, the uh, hinge pin braces, and I think they're new, actually new hinge pins also, but all the hinge pins, your A block, your B block, your C block, your D block, those are all different. We've got these new pills. I don't know if the pills are different, but again, these are just the initial things that I've seen and that I've noticed that are different. Uh, I basically asked the techno guys to just send me the, all the new revised stuff. So whenever I got this this set of parts, it was all new to me. I didn't actually go in there and manually enter them one by one. Uh, what else did I notice that was different? Oh, these are EB410.2 turnbuckle rent, uh, uh, turnbuckle and sway bar rod ends. Apparently they're different. We'll find out how they're different shortly. So. Basically how this build is gonna go is I am gonna start building and every time I come to a point where something new is on there I'll show you what the difference is and why it's new and then hopefully we don't run into too many problems. So the other cool thing is this is gonna be the first kit I build with my new electric screwdriver. This thing is, this thing is super pimp. And my new uh, drill bit. So these are the new Protec hex bits. Drill, I call them drill bits, but they're screwdriver tips. I don't know. Anyways, they go in your electric screwdriver. This and this are like a must have if you're building a whole bunch of kits. But these are the new ones. Protec had some that looked like that spring steel. These are the new True Torque ones. So I'll find out if these, how these pair up with what I used to use, which are the MIP ones. We're not going to go in too much detail on this stuff because I am going to do a thorough review of the different electric screwdrivers I've used in the past and also the different bits I've used in the bat in the past so I know you guys like it when I say this so without further ado I am going to start grinding away at this so let's do this all right so after thinking about it I am going to use 
the EB410.2 manual, so I'm going to pull it up on my iPad and I'm going to build it based on that manual. I have all my parts sectioned off on where I think it's going to happen or where I think I'm going to need these parts. These are all the parts that I'm probably going to need throughout the entire kit. These are all the parts for the rear end. These are all the parts for the front end. And then here's all my stuff. All my tools are over here. I'm all set up. I got all the tools that I usually think I use in these. Obviously you need scissors. Got my needle nose. I got some dikes. And I got all the hex wrenches that I think I'm going to use. We're all cleaned off. And we're, and hey, look, there you, there's you guys. There are you guys up there. So you guys, we're about to kick this off. So I kind of snaked you guys because we're not going to actually do any build, building in this video. But on the next video, you'll start seeing all the time lapse and everything. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, guys, smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell. And we'll see you later. Later, guys.